Salieri. What do you want? I'm Father Vogler. I'm a chaplain here. I thought you might like to talk to someone. About what? You tried to take your life. Y you do remember that, don't you? So? In the sight of God, that is a sin. What do you want? Do you understand that you have sinned? Gravely. Leave me alone. I cannot leave alone a soul in pain. Do you know who I am? You never heard of me, did you? That makes no difference. All men are equal in the eyes of God. Are they? Offer me your confession. I can offer you God's forgiveness. I do not seek forgiveness. My son, there is something dreadful on your soul. Unburden it to me. I'm only here for you, please. Talk to me. How well are you trained in music? I know a little. I studied it in my youth. Where? Here, in Vienna. Ah, then you must know this. Well? I cannot say that I do. What is it? I'm surprised you don't know. It was a very popular tune in its day. I wrote it. Now, how about this? This one broke down the house when we played it first. Well. I regret it is not too familiar. Oh, can you recall no melody of mine? I was the most famous composer in Europe when you were still a boy. I wrote 40 operas alone. Yeah, what about this little thing? Oh yes, I, I know that. That's charming. I didn't know you wrote that. I didn't. That was Mozart, Wolfgang Amadeus, Mozart. You know who that is? Of course. Hmm. The man you accuse yourself of killing. Yeah. You heard that. All Vienna has heard that. And do they believe it? Is it true? Do you believe it? Should I? For God's sake, my son, if you have something to confess, do it now. Give yourself some peace. Did you hear me? He was murdered, Father. Mozart. Cruelly murdered. Yes? Did you do it? He was my idol. I can't remember a time when I didn't know his name. When I was only 14, he was already famous. Even in Regnago, the tiniest town in Italy, I knew of him. I admit I was jealous when I heard the tales they told about him. Not the brilliant prodigy himself, but of his father. They taught him everything. My father did not care for music. He wanted me only to be a merchant like himself. <laughs> as anonymous as he was. When I told how I wished I could be like Mozart, he would say, why? Do you want to be a dream monkey? Would you like me to 
drag you around Europe doing tricks like a circus freak. How could I tell him what music meant to me? Even then, a spray of sounded notes could make me dizzy, almost to falling. Whilst my father prayed earnestly to God to protect commerce, I would offer up, secretly, the proudest prayer a boy could think of. Lord, make me a great composer. Uh, let me celebrate your glory through music. And me celebrate it myself. In return, I vow, I will give you my chastity, my industry, my deepest humility every hour of my life, and I will help my fellow men all I can. Amen and amen. And you know what happened? Suddenly, he was dead. <laughs> Just like that. And my life changed forever. My mother said, go. Study music if you really want to. Off with you, and off I went as quick as I could and never saw Italy again. Of course, I knew God had arranged it all. Of course, at one moment, I was a frustrated boy in an obscure little town. The next moment, I was here in Vienna, city of music, 16 years old and studying under Gluck. Gluck, father, the greatest composer of his time. <laughs> and he loved me. That was the wonder. And when I was ready, introduced me personally to the Emperor, Emperor Joseph, the musical king. Within a few years, I was his core composer. Wasn't that incredible? Actually, the man had no ear at all. He, yeah, but what did it matter? He adored my music. That was enough. Tell me, if you had been me, wouldn't you have thought God had accepted your vow? Believe me, I honored it. I was a model of virtue. I kept my hands off women, worked hours teaching students, many of them for free, sitting on endless committees to help poor musicians work and work and work. That was all my life. And it was wonderful. Everybody liked me. I liked myself. I was the most successful musician in Vienna. And the happiest. Till he came. Mozart. <laughs> 